The U.S. State Department is warning spring break travelers from visiting certain areas in Mexico. 13 on your side's Elena Holland is in the newsroom to tell us what we need to know when we make travel plans, Elena. Well, jetting off to a warm Mexican beach sounds pretty nice right now, but there are six states Americans are warned not to travel to and use increased caution when visiting several others. Many Michiganders are planning trips to someplace warm for spring break. But this year, the U.S. State Department says not to travel to six states in Mexico for increased risk of violent crime. This comes weeks after four Americans were kidnapped in Mexico, two found dead in one of the states under the advisory. So really do not go to those states. Seven more states fall under a reconsidered travel advisory, and the department warns to use increased caution when traveling to 17 more, including popular vacation destination Quintana Roo, home to Cancun. So does this mean you should skip your Mexican vacation? Well, certain parts, yes, absolutely. Like anywhere, there are certain parts in the United States you shouldn't go to, and there are certain parts of Mexico you absolutely should not. So don't take the risk. However, you Use caution visiting many other parts of Mexico. Paula Kwiatkowski, co-founder of Goose Insurance, has a few tips. Uh, there's a lot of young people that are going down for spring break. Stay on the resort. Make sure that you watch your drinks being made. Don't go to nightclubs and bars and leave your drinks unattended. Also, use official transportation. Consider travel health insurance. Don't bring expensive or expensive looking jewelry. Keep your location turned on on your phone and make sure family members back home have your travel plans. Go to areas that are safe, that have high security. Uh, check online to see what areas those are and stay away from areas that you don't know a lot about and just keep a low profile. The State Department also recommends enrolling in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program, or STEP, connecting you to a local consulate. You know, if you are concerned, just for your own peace of mind, maybe look for a different destination to go and let things settle down. Really, that comes down to a personal choice. You can see the full list of advisories on Mexican states on the State Department's website. There's a link to that in this story on 13 yourside.com.